In Gulu district, the second term seems to have begun normally with teachers and the learners in class despite the strike announced by the National Teachers Union, UNATU. The reason of going on strike, I say it is just a waste of time because as you, you keep on striking, you strike but the learners will remain and they will be the loser. The same apparent defiance seems to have been seen in Luero district. By 8 a.m., a number of pupils and students had reported to school and they found the teachers waiting. Some of them told in TV that UNATU had not officially communicated the strike. For us, we decided to follow the calendar of second term. But others who backed the strike asked UNATU to always have plan B so that children continue learning, especially in the free universal primary schools. Teachers of Luero should join UNATU in the strike because UNATU is their union. In Massacre, after the government teachers failed to show up, some headmasters hired private teachers to fill the gap since many students were ready for classes. Some students of Masaka Secondary School could be seen loafing around the streets with their books. Some schools here didn't open at all. It's now up to the teachers themselves. Those who want to come and teach, are already in class are teaching. Those who do not want, we may not force them. The NTV team found pupils of Madbira Primary School in Busia District passing time in the playground, while a few were busy revising previous term's notes in preparation for beginning of term exams. This school, just like many others in the area, was open. In Mwende, NTV found pupils in class at Kasani Church of Uganda Primary School. The handful of teachers present didn't enter class, with just one doing his work. At Kaweri Model Primary School, the administrators simply set off the pupils after the morning parade. At St. Joseph's Primary School, it was all play. Of the 413 pupils registered here, only 88 showed up. Generally, the turn up in most schools has been very low. In Tiana district, the situation was similar. The few pupils here took to slashing the compound and fetching water. The few teachers who showed up bluntly told the pupils to wait out for strike. The teachers nationwide are demanding for a 10% pay rise, which government promised but has not honored. We're not making any new demands to government, no. Other weekend, Prime Minister Dr. Hakana Rugunda told the teachers after a meeting to wait for the 2016-2017 financial year to get the salary raise.